Okay, we're gonna shorten these pants today, and this is the mark to how much we wanna shorten them. So this is three quarters of an inch. So that means this is three fourths that stitch that came up from. So we have the three fourths here, and we need something to turn under, so we're gonna do another three fourths. So before we start, you want to make sure the pants are even at the waist. And you want seam on top of seam. So I'm holding up here by the waist, making sure that it's even. I hold it tightly. I grab the bottom of the pants at the seam. I pull. So I pull the first one. I pull the second. Make sure they're even. Now they are. And then I want to make sure this edge is even. So I'm holding this in place to make sure this is even. So this way, the front will be even versus the backs being even and the front not being even when we mark it. So we want to make sure that it's parallel. Once we do that, we're going to mark a line across. But before, I want to show you about the scissors we're going to cut this with. We have three different sizes. This is the eight inch not recommended to cut this. The 10 inch are fine to cut this. The 12 inch are better. So we're gonna cut it with the 12s. So to mark this, I have a line here, I'm following my seam, I'm making that parallel. So I line the ruler up straight with that seam and I want to be right at that mark. So what I'm going to do, this mark is already here, then I make this one. But I don't want to bring it across yet. So I bring this up, I go up under. I go up under. I lift this up, I go up under, I go up under. So we didn't carry any of the marks across. But you see, see, and see. Now we're going to connect them all, but one at a time. Now, time to mark the hem. So we know this is even. So the hem is, remember, we said an inch, three quarters and three quarters. So that totals an inch and a half. This ruler is an inch and a half wide. So what I do, I put this evenly on that line and I'm gonna mark it. But let's say we didn't have a ruler that's an inch and a half wide. So then in that case, you measure down an inch and a half, you mark it over here. You measure down an inch and a half and mark it. And as you can see, the pant is flat. So if it's not flat, you wanna press it out to make sure that it's flat. Because if it's wrinkly, that, that changes all of this. So then once I make my two inch and a half marks, I'm gonna draw my line. Then I'll take my 14, my 12s, and I'm holding this in place so it doesn't shift. Bring it all the way to the edge. Cut, don't close the scissors. Cut, and I'm here. Cut. It cuts through it very easily and nicely. That's that one. Now this is the second one. This time I'm going to use the ruler being an inch and a half and just mark it from the ruler. So that showed you the, the, I'm showing you the two different uh, versions. But that's that. And this time I'm going to cut it just to show you with the tens. But the eights, never. If you don't have good shears like either of these two, never use them, then get you a pair. I'm holding this again that it doesn't move. Bring it up, cut, bring it up, cut, bring it up. Coming all the way, because I'm going over that thick part. Cut. Now, we have it both cut. What we want to do, we know this is an inch and a half. We're on the hem, on the inside. So I'm gonna come up an inch and a half on the inside and mark it. That side. This side. All four seams. 
I'm Mark, and you're going to see why shortly. The reason an inch and a half, that's how much, that's where we're turning it at. And this is going to end up being turned under twice and stitched. But what we want to do, this is thick. So by turning this twice, that's very thick. So what we're going to do is reduce that thickness. Here we are. Coming up. Narrow cut to about a quarter inch shy of that line. So you can see that reduced the thickness. And we're doing the same thing with the other side. Even though you see it's stitched here. So, but we still can reduce some of it. And what we're going to do we want to go in and I reduced a little of that. So that takes it. Sometimes people would cut the thread, but I don't suggest doing that because if you do it might come through all the way. So you see, I reduced both. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I'm not coming to the line, I come down about a quarter inch from the line. So I can make my little cut. And be careful, cause these scissors are very sharp. And we can bring that a little more. And we got the second one. So I'm just going to make my little mark so I can see why I'm cutting. There we go. And cut that off. Let me see. Now, what I just did, we always reduce the thickness. But let's say these jeans are not your regular $50, $60, $75 jeans. These are jeans that cost $1,200. So, what we'll want to do, we are going to remove some of that thread, but I'm going to show you how we do it in a minute. So, again, we're going to remove some of the stitching but we're doing it very carefully. And I don't want to touch the one on the outside. I want the one on the inside, so that's going to allow me to reduce this seam allowance even more. So, softly pick it. You see, I'm not cutting it. and picking it. I'm using the back side of the knife. I don't want to use the cut side. And we're going to stop about three-eighths from that when we pick the stitch out. You don't want to go any closer than that three-eighths. Now we got about two more to come out. This again, you would never do this with, I mean, just plain jeans, it's a waste. But when you have expensive pants, you must do this. Because it's time consuming, but regular hems for jeans might run about $15, $17. When we hem pants, this way on an expensive jean, that can easily be $30 to $50 to hem them. So you take your time and do a different job. There's no need to go through all this for a $60 pair of pants. So you see I have it up to that point I mentioned. Now I have to find the other stitch. Here it is. 
Now what I'm going to do, I pull it just a little bit. You see, here's the outside one, here's the inside one. So I'm pulling that one from the inside. I want to bring that one through. You see, I have both here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie them together. Time twice. Two times is sufficient. Once. Once is not enough. Always twice. Oh, well, you gotta take your time to make sure you get it. There it is. Two times. And we leave the threads long. We do not cut them. But by doing that, that's allowing us to reduce the seam more. But move the threads out the way, because remember, we don't want to cut them. And now you can see all this addition, I can now cut off. So that reduced the opposite seam equal to the first. But you see, we tied this. If you didn't tie it, by the time you try to sew it, it's going to come apart. This way, it will not come apart, and we have reduced thickness. Now, this is the side that has the double stitching on it that we cut and reduced. What we do, we fold it to the inside on that line. And to help reduce the thickness, we use a nylon, not a metal hammer. You see it flattens it very nicely. Once we do that once, we know the seam is going to be turned under a second time, so we fold it in at that same point. And and you only pound from the inside, never pound from the outside. But if you see, it flattens it quite nicely. So therefore, when you stitch it, it'll go beautifully. The other side you can do too, but you don't need the second. You just need the first one, meaning the fold twice. Some people do it, so it's okay. But you fold it, because it's not as thick. But we got it folded. We just do it for the purpose of doing it. So we fold it right into that crease and fold it up the second time. And we pound it. By doing that, that makes it quite easy to sew it. Now, when we sew it, you always start with the inside, which is the inseam. You don't start on the outseam because you're going to do a little back stitching and you don't want it to show on the outside. So the inside is okay. So we fold it the once, fold it the twice. And we're going to do that and we're going to sew it all the way around. And you see it's nice and flat now, so it makes the sewing very easily. But we start from the inseam, this is the crotch. We scratch, sew from the inseam. Now, since we're gonna sew from the outside, what I did, I put a gauge. This makes it easy. So I put the gauge and I have it set for the amount that I need. And I make sure that it's tight. What we're gonna do, we turn the pant leg wrong side out. So that makes it easier to sew this edge. So we fold it under the two times, making sure, then we put it against the gauge. There we are. And we want to start with that needle down 
and I'm holding the thread here so it won't bunch up when it starts. And I want to make sure that it's totally straight along that guide. And I'm holding that thread. Here I go. Needle is down. Making sure my three eighths, keeping it straight. And needle down each time. This takes a little longer, but remember again, this is not when you're working with a dry cleaner or something. This is when you're working with extremely quality garments. And we're making sure that it's straight, and it is. And I'm keeping it on that guide. So I pull the two threads further away. I cut it. Here we go. Now we have all the threads. This one, I pull, because I want that second thread. You have the top threads and the bottom thread. So we're on the inside. You want to pull it slightly. So when you pull it, you see it shows the bottom thread. There it is. So I'm using something that's not sharp to pull it through. So I pull these through. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Give it a little pull. There it is, you see the other thread. Once we have those, we're gonna tie them in two knots. You always want two, never one. And pull it tight, one, two. Then I'm gonna cut that one really close to the knot. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the second one. Second time. Pull it. And again, cut the threads close. Now we turn the, the pants right side out. And very nice, neat hem. And we're going to press them. Now, in pressing this, we don't press on top. What we do, we open it, slide it inside the board, and we press it single. Spin it around, press it single. Don't put your hand to hold the pan here, because if you're pressing and doing that, you're gonna stretch it. You don't wanna do that. A lot of steam, and you're not putting much weight to it. Now, once that's done, then you can press. Soft press, flip it over, soft press. Then if you're gonna press the leg, you put it Crease on top of crease. Make sure. Press this side. Slide that over. And we can press the other side.
then you have absolutely great him. Another way. It's always neater to sew it from the outside. Some people, like I said earlier, they like to do this and sew it from the inside. I never do that. On quality, we don't do that. <laughs> 